Hello everybody, my name is Carol. I didn't even mean to start recording, but that's okay. We'll do that anyway. Ah, my name is Carol, and today I am here with the final, not the final villainous review, the final Disney villainous review. And today we have their latest Disney villainous set, Perfectly Wretched, which stars Cruella de Vil, Pete, and Mother Gothel. Uh, this set I heard of about two months after it came out because I thought Villainous was a Target exclusive, but it wasn't. And I thought only Target had it, and it didn't. Um, this coin goes into Green Villainous. I forgot. I uh, found that, and I forgot to put it. Back instruction booklet, same as always. Um, you can no longer vote for what villains you want, so that sucks. Uh, getting right into this because for some reason my video time, like, shortened itself. I don't know why it does that, but it pees me off. Uh, let's get to Pete. As soon as we open up, see Pete says I'm gonna knock you right in the next week. Uh, Pete is, Pete is, every single one of these villains is very, very unique. More unique than the orange. This is actually my favorite set out of the Disney Villainous sets. The Marvel Villainous is my all-time favorite. I love that game. But this one is my favorite out of Disney Villainous. His locations are Frontier Town, Service Station, the Airport, and Podunk Landing. Uh, as you can see, they went for the Steamboat Willie design. But there's combinations of all his cards throughout. Four black and white Mickey Mouse franchises, I think it was. Um... He has a series of goals. Uh, I just got to get these out because there's a bunch of pieces in here. got to get out because all of them have at least one unique piece for themselves, too. Uh, his goal is to, collect, is to complete the four selected goals. So what you're going to do is you're going to shuffle each of these tokens. And you're going to pick four random ones. Now you're going to... Randomly put those each by itself at one location and Pete has to complete the goal that's at that location at that location and He'll put the goals right here along the thing at least is where I put them and after he completes all of them then he wins So that's basically his goal uh, his goals consist of roundup start your turn with allies totaling 10 or more strength at this location very straightforward. Play allies that add up to a strength of 10 or more at that location. Roll the realm. Start your turn with more allies and heroes at each location. That's actually surprisingly easy. Uh, if you're playing against somebody who doesn't fate that much. Gain it. Win big. Gain at least 4 power from playing play a game at this location. I'll go over that card later. Power play. Spend at least 6 power in one turn while Pete is at this location which bandits can be used for that. We'll get into bandits because that's probably the most important card in this deck. And strike it rich. Start your turn with at least three items at this location. Items are also very important. Uh, let's get to the worst hero for him, which would be Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Pete cannot play goals. I mean, cannot complete goals while Mickey Mouse is in his realm. So that's pretty straightforward. So we're not even going to go over those heroes. Uh, let's go for items. Items. We got... Bank loot. Bank loot can only be played to the frontier town. This location gains plus one coin. Uh, more important cards would be... There's another item, stolen cargo. Stolen cargo can only be played to the airport. This location gains plus one coins. Airstrike. Now move, move Pete to any location with a hero and defeat them, then end your turn. Steamboat Willie. Steamboat Willie can only be played to Podunk Landing. This location gains move an item or ally. Uh, we got Bandit. When play, when you may play, you may play any number of Bandits as this part of the same play card action. So say that you are at, this is what's going to help you pay six power in one turn. Because say that you're here, right? You could play two cards, but you could play as many Bandits as you want and still be able to play a card. Because all the Bandits you play are going to be this part of the same play card action. So you could still play another card. A different card. So. Um, 
have play a game. Reveal the top two cards of your deck gain power equal to the sum of their costs, then discard them. Horse, when horse is played, you may move an ally or item in your realm to any location. It's also really good if you got the uh, Strike It Rich goal, which is the have three item thing like that. Sneaky Pete, draw two cards into your hand, then put one card from your hand on the top or bottom of your deck. That would be really good for to play a game. Um, and I see here. He, and then we have Jalopy or Halopy, I don't know how to say it. Can only be played to a certain stage in this location gains play a card. And that's... Uh, we'll get the Pete's piece. He has a steamboat hat, cat ears, and his overalls going around. And that's pretty much it for Pete. Wow. I blew past him faster than I thought I was going to. Uh, next, let's get to the center of the set. Cruella de Vil. Cruella de Vil. The villain who's been... Uh, the villain who's been teased since day one of Villainous, uh, whoever got Villainous the day it came out, uh, the back of the instructions, she got Cruella de Vil, and three sets later, we got her, so. She has to be the most unique out of all of them. Her goal is to start her turn with at least 99 captured puppies. So what you're going to have is you're going to have... 12 of these little chips that have puppies on the back of them. It says 11, Milk Farm. So, what well, you're going to use cards to your advantage to put puppy tokens there. You're going to put it at Milk Farm. You're going to put it at Milk Farm. And, like, 11 puppies for Countryside. You're going to put it at the Countryside. Her locations are... Radcliffe House, Countryside, Milk Farm, and Hell Hall. And all of them have different locations. There's also four tokens that have 22 puppies on it. Let's get to Cruella DeVille's piece because it is really cool. Uh, she's the one villain where her piece's color actually doesn't match the board. I did not know they were going to make Cruella DeVille's board red. I expected them to make it like a tan color. That's what I expected. So, here's this. You got, like, her hair at the top. You got all these fuzzes around. And then you got those uh, tails that are hanging off her sleeve on the back there. And it's just all around cool. I, I see the uh, yin-yang symbol when I actually look at her. I don't know if that's uh, mean or not. but Oh, I'll get even. Just wait. You'll be sorry. Um, after you capture the puppies, they're going to go under her portrait. Uh, let's get into cards that can help her. Uh, not really any heroes I'm going to discuss because she's one of theirs where the heroes are just heroes. Uh, fireplace Poker. You only have two allies in your deck. So Fireplace Poker, if you use your allies to kill a hero, you want fi the Fireplace Poker attached to them because that means that they don't get discarded. Get the job done. Perform an activate action. Activate actions are what put and take off the puppy and take the puppy tokens on and off your board. Gain one power for each location you run that has at least one puppy token. I live for first. That's okay. Uh, you idiots. Move your ally to any location. Because the allies are going are the ones that capture the puppy tokens. Choose an item or effect from your discard pile and put it in your hand. That'll be really good for uh, cards that'll help you get the... Uh... I'm not going to tell you what this card does. I'm just going to point it out. Look at this face, man. When, the first night I got this, me and my mom played it. She played it with uh, my stepdad. We play, all played it at once. And she, as soon as she picked up her four cards, she uh, saw that face. And she's like, eh... Hey. Cruel! I usually don't talk about conditions, but Cruel. On their turn, if another player moves an ally, you may play Cruel. Choose one puppy token from the supply and add it to a specified location. That is really good. That's what it looks like. 15 stolen puppies. Uh, spotted. Reveal up to two puppy tokens. You don't put them on your board. You just reveal them to everybody. Horus! Horus, first ally. You activate him. Either capture one puppy token at his location or choose one puppy token from them and add it to the specified location. Heal puppies! 
Uh, choose a puppy token from the supply and add it to the specified location. Pretty straightforward. Flashlight, choose, if you activate it, choose a puppy token from the supply and add it to the specified location. And let's get to the better ally, Jasper. Uh, you activate, you actually have to pay coins to activate him. Capture up to two puppy tokens at his location. And to help him with that, he has the Roadster, which is her car. When you move the Roadster, you can move the Roadster to any location. And you could take a puppy token from the Roadster's previous location to that location. So Horus, so you could take that to the location where Horus is at, along with a puppy token. If there's a puppy token already there, Horus can get both of them. Another really good card is bought and paid for. There's only one of these in the deck. Capture one puppy token from Corella DeVille's location. So whatever space she is at, she could capture a puppy token at that space. And that's it for Cruella DeVille. Move on to Mother Gothel, get this review over with, because my time I'm on a huge time crunch here. Uh, I hope I got all those puppy tokens. I bl I'll believe I do. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna miss a lot. <laughs> Just kidding. Probably. No, maybe not. I have no idea. Uh Mother Gothel she uh, her saying is you want me to be the bad guy? Fine, now I'm the bad guy. Now, this is, of course, a character that has a lot more cards. She is also unique because she is a cardboard token that is Rapunzel. Rapunzel starts at the tower, of course, and ever at the end of every turn, she moves closer and closer to Corona. And Mother Gothel's goal is to add up to 10 trusts. She's going to manipulate her cards to make Rapunzel trust her. But every single time Rapunzel ends her turn at Corona, I mean, every single time uh, it's the end of the turn and Rapunzel's at Corona, Mother Gothel loses one trust. Now, if you, she has a strength of four. If you defeat her, you'll discard the allies used to defeat her, but she goes all the way back to the tower. Um, her locations are Rapunzel's Tower, the Snuggly Duckling, the Forest, and Corona. And it's kind of funny how Mother Gothel's trying to keep Rapunzel quarantined in the tower from Corona. Uh, once again, not going to go any he over any heroes because I'm on a time crunch here. But basically, they just make you lose lots and lots of trust. Royal Guard. Royal Guard is really good. When you move Royal Guard to an adjacent location, you take one hero from his previous location and move them along with him. So he, you can use that to move Rapunzel back towards Rapunzel's tower. Uh, misdirection. Move Rapunzel to one location towards Corona. Gain one trust. Risky, but good card. What once was mine. Choose a card in the discard pile and put it in your hand. Probably the best card in Mother Gothel's deck. This is what helps me always win. The hairbrush. When you play or move this card to Rapunzel's location, you automatically gain one trust. I love you most. If Mother Gothel and Rapunzel are at the same location, gain one trust. If Mother Gothel and Rapunzel are at Rapunzel's tower, gain two trust. So that's also a really good card. We got the Stabbington Brothers, Sideburn Stabbington. Uh, him and Patchy Stabbington had the same ability. When Sideburns or Patchy Stabbington is played at Rapunzel's location, you may move Rapunzel to Rapunzel's tower. Egomania. During their turn, if another player moves an ally or item, you may play Egomania move Rapunzel, Rapunzel's Tower. That's a condition, but it's a very good condition. Uh, the Kniffy, or the Knife. When Knife is played, attach it to an allied ally, gets plus two strength. When it is used to defeat Rapunzel, gain one trust. The Crown, when a hero is defeated at this location, either gain two power or discard crown, gain one tr crust, trust. Trust. Let down your hair. If Rapunzel is at the t Rapunzel's Tower, gain one trust. Otherwise, move Rapunzel at the two locations towards Rapunzel's Tower. Uh, now I'm the bad guy. Move Rapunzel to the Rapunzel's Tower. M lose one trust. So, Mother Knows Best. At the end of this turn, do not move Rapunzel. That's a very good card. Uh, here, I'll just give you a look at Patchy Stabbington, because he's cooler than Sideburn Stabbington. 
Uh, I think I have some time to go over some heroes. Uh, Floating Lights, movie Rapunzel, The Corona. Everyone has a dream. Mother Goth loses one trust. Pascal, when Pascal is at when Rapunzel moves to Pascal's location, move her one location towards Corona. Mother Gothel is my second favorite to play as in Villainous. So. Frying Pan, just give them plus one strength. Oof. Allies may not be moved from Ulf's location. Because that little thing he did at the end. Do, 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 do. Aging, discard an ally or item with a cost of two or less from Mother Gothel's round. That could be bad. Flynn Rider. When Flynn Rider is played, Mother Gothel loses two trust. When Flynn Rider is defeated, Mother Gothel gains two trust. King and Queen. If the King and Queen are played in Rapunzel's location, Mother Gothel loses one trust. And that's it. Uh, let's go over her piece real quick, because i got 26 seconds left. Peace, flower, basically. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out. That was comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed. See you guys in the Marvel Villainous Review. Goodbye.